Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Coding Together. My name is Vikas Oja. Today we will see another lead code problem that is serialize and deserialize binary tree. So as we know, serialization is the process of converting a data structure or object into a sequence of bits so that it can be stored in a file or memory buffer or transmitted across a network connection link to be reconstructed later in the same or another computer environment. So we have to design an algorithm to serialize and deserialize a binary tree. Let's see how we can solve this problem. So as of, as from the question, what we understood is we are given with a tree. We have to convert into string. Right? We have to serialize into string. And from that string, we have to deserialize again back to tree. Right? So how can we convert, how we can we convert our binary tree to a string? So what we will do is we will perform pre-order traversal. And we will initialize a string builder we will initialize a string builder sb right so it will append the values of each node while we traverse in pre order fashion so uh, we will start from the root node we will start from the root node that is one right so we will uh, the sb the string builder will append the value of this node and a space. So it will be one and a space. This is a space. Right. And as we know, pre order is root, left, and then right. So we are done with the root. We have to go left. So on the left, we have again. Uh, root uh, again a node that is two so we will append two and a space right so it's a string it's a string in the double quotes right so we'll append two the string builder will append two and a space again now here we have a null value the left child of two is null so what we have to do for the null values right for the null values what we add as a hash it and a space so from null we will return right we'll backtrack and we'll reach again to and we'll again see the right child because what we do first root then left so we are done with the left then we go right so on the right again it's null right so what we will do uh, for null we will add hash and under that is space and then we'll backtrack so again two, from 2 we will backtrack then at 1 we will go to 3 right the right part so now we encounter 3 so we will add 3 and space now from 3 right from 3 we have to go to left the pre-order is root left right so from root we have to go left so other, other values 4 so we will add 4 and a space now at the left child of 4 is null so we'll backtrack and add uh, sb will append hash and space right now we again at 4 will go right so this is again null so we'll backtrack and we will add in the string builder hash and space now we'll backtrack to 3 now we are done with the root and the left part so we'll go on the right right in a pre-order fashion so we encounter 5 so we will add we'll append 5 and a space now at 5 the left child is null so we'll return and we'll add hash space now at 5 the right child is also null so we'll return and we'll add hash and space hash and space so this is our final 
serialized string. Right. This is our final st serialized string. So here two important points. First is this space. Space. Right. Space is a splitter. Right. Space will act as a splitter while deserializing. Right. And hash denotes the null nodes. Null nodes. Right. So we have done with our function serialize now we have to go for the deserialize method right so let's deserialize and construct the tree from this serialized string we have this serialized string we will see we will see the spaces for the splitter and hash for the null nodes so first what we will do we will split this string so we will split this string with the space so this one will be one string this one will be one string this will be this will be right so all these red highlighted are will be the string values so it will be array of string when we split and we will add them into the queue we will add them into the queue right so this will be our queue we'll initialize a queue Right. Now, what we will do, we will take, we will remove the elements from the queue one by one and convert th those uh, values into a tree node. So first, we will take the first element that is one, uh, we'll remove the first element that is one and we'll create a node of <coughs> node one. Now the next element is 2 so we'll remove element 2 from the queue and we'll add on the left of 1. So now the next element is hash right so on the left part of 2 this this will be null right because this denotes null nodes. So it means 2 is our the 2 is the leaf node and the left child is null again we will remove the element from the queue that is hashed so again as the uh, 2 has already its left child so it will be the null as right child for 2 uh, for this hash right now the next element is 3 so we are already done with the left part of 1 so I'll move on the right part because well on the right part so we have the next element as 3 so we'll remove the element from the queue. We'll create a node for the same. Now we have the next element as four. So we'll add four as the left child of three, right? Now we have hash the next element from the queue when we remove the element from the queue. So it means it's a null node for the no for the uh, node four, right? Again we'll. Uh, remove the next element from the queue that is hash as the left child of 4 is already null so it will be the right child of 4 right now we'll extract the uh, next element that is 5 so as the left part is already done for 3 it will go in the right of 3 that is 5 and again we have the next element as hash so it will be the left child of 5 but as a null and the last element is also hash so it will be the right child of 5 as null so this is same tree as this one so this is now we are able to uh, deserialize we are able to deserialize from the string to a tree successfully so let's see the code part for code part for it so we have initialized our splitter that is space and we have initialized our uh, null node that will be hash the hash will denote the null nodes in the serialize method we have initialized a string builder and we are calling a traverse method that is the pre-order traversal so in the pre-order traversal whenever the root is equal equal to null right so we have to add a null node uh, a null node uh, character that is hash 
and with a space hash and space in the string builder right and we will return otherwise we will append the root value and a space right that is what we did for the value when there was a, a value we added the value and the space otherwise if it is a null right if it is a null node then we added hash and space the same is done here for the null we are adding hash and space and otherwise we are keep on adding the value and the splitter that is value and the space and we are traversing root uh, the left and then the right now once the traverse is over and we will return sb.2 string that is the serialized form of the tree now in the de deserialize we'll have our data as an input that is the string and we will create a queue with the uh, data and splitting the data with the splitter ie with a space and we'll call the build tree with that queue so we'll uh, in the build tree method we are passing the queue and we are removing one by one by one till the queue is empty so if the node the removed node from the queue is uh, a hash means it's a null node so we will return null otherwise we'll create a tree node with that value right it's a not it's a, a non null node so non null value right uh, so it's uh, we will create a tree node with that value and for the left child and the right child of that tree node will again recursively call the build tree with the uh, with the queue uh, the only difference is uh, the queue will not have the node because we have removed that node so it will be the rest of the elements with the uh, in the queues and finally we'll return tree node that will be the root node of the new constructed deserialized binary tree so let's run this solution yes the test, case, test cases are accepted so it means it's running fine so let's uh, see the time complexity of serialize and deserialize method so for serialize method we are traversing the complete uh, binary tree right so it will be order of n as we are visiting each node that will be the time complexity for the serialize method and space complexity will be space complexity as the uh, the for the dfs right for the pre order the uh, space complexity generally order of big o of h that is h is height of the tree so the worst case worst case space complexity can be order of n if the tree is skew tree and for deserialize for deserialize deserialize what will be the time complexity time complexity will be again order of n right because we are again uh, doing the pre order traversal itself right we are doing the pre order traversal right itself so it will be order of n and the space complexity space complexity as v big o of n for q plus big o of h that is height of tree height of tree right so height of tree can be worst case can be order of n big o of n if it is a skew tree so yeah that's it for the uh, this video and i hope you like this video if you like this video please share and subscribe thanks for watching